Hi, welcome back to another video. Just want to start by saying thank you to all the positive comments regarding my last video. Uh, it was kind of overwhelming. Clearly you guys want high quality, well-researched crypto analysis, and that's what I love making for you guys and what I plan to continue making. So to that end, let's address some of the questions you ask. A lot of these questions and answers in this video were lifted straight from the AMAs on the Walton subreddit. If you see an answer in quotes, that means this is a response directly from the Walton team themselves. And all the sources have been linked in the description, so definitely check that out if you want to read more questions and answers. But I picked the questions I thought people had and needed to be answered in a medium like this. So with that, let's get started. All right, so the first question is, if an item is authenticated with a Walton RFID, how does Walton plan for customers to check said authenticity? Customers can query the appropriate data by using Walton Chain as all the data is transparent. Because Walton Chain is a blockchain, customers can see the timeline of the product from its source to its destination. Guys, this is why Walton and blockchain is just so revolutionary. It allows you to see the timeline, the life cycle of that product from its inception to where it is currently. And again, this is why it's going to be a big deal for the manufacturing and shipping process. All right, so this next one is kind of a two part question. First part is how is one company's data secure from their competitors that also use Walton? And the second part is why wouldn't companies just use software to track their inventory as they see fit? So to answer the question about security, we kind of have to understand uh, the way that Walton is set up and operated. You know, the Walton ecosystem is comprised of the parent chain, the Walton chain, and subchains. The parent chain serves as the public ledger for Walton chain transactions, which is stored by nodes on the Walton chain network. Now, importantly, the parent chain enables subchain management. Subchains can be created by anyone by spending Walton chain tokens, and there can be theoretically an infinite number of subchains created. They're able to define their own privacy and for example of our question, basically able to silo a company's data from their competitors as the subchain only interacts with the parent chain as a data ledger. The transactions inherent to an individual subchain are stored there alone. Subchains operate on their own and do not interact with other subchains unless they want to. And so for the second part of this question, as it relates to why wouldn't a company just use an existing ERP system to track their inventory? And that's because that's exactly what the problem that Walton is trying to disrupt is that centralized systems can't really interact with each other and don't do so efficiently. And it's basically not feasible for a company to produce their own RFID tags in the manner that Walton's doing and to create their own blockchain. So it's just much cheaper and much more efficient to rely on the Walton ecosystem and reap the benefits. How much testing has been done in real companies who have opted for integration of Walton to see if there be a long-term benefit? So Walton claims that there are several companies in the apparel, manufacturing, and warehouse industry that have applied their Walton chain and RFID integration system. What's impressive is that all of them have benefited by integrating their system. Compared to pre-integration, their yield rate is up, their stock turnover is up, the distribution efficiency has improved, and the inventory efficiency has gone up as well. You know, this is really cool that they have data points to say, yes, our system is effective, it can help with these industries, and we are just getting started. Okay, so it's great to talk about the results that they already have, but let's talk a little bit more big picture. You know, let's have them explain how their RFID chip will be beneficial to clients. Walton claims that their RFID chip will solve existing problems with centralized systems that we've already talked about. Issues such as low sensitivity, error reading, high cost, and limited ability of dealing with a number of labels simultaneously. The client will save money using the Walton RFID and achieve greater security and efficiency. This amount of benefit to the potential client should be significant and should only increase in the future as Walton becomes a dominant force as they finish their product set, as they finish their development. You know, this is just the beginning, so it's really exciting. All right, so this should be a pretty simple one. 
how much does Walton think a single RFID chip tag should cost a client at this stage? And so they're estimating about five cents per tag, which is pretty respectable given that there's a lot of technology built into it. So I have to give them props for keeping their costs low. And hopefully as they continue to scale and implement mass production, that cost should come down. So to that end, the next question is, when does the team expect to begin mass production of the RFID tag integrated circuit? According to the team, that should begin around first quarter of 2019. However, they've had to push back a little bit on their expected roadmap timeline. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if mass production is also pushed back to maybe Q2 of 2019. But it's still very exciting that they're able to you know, finish their development and get this to mass production so soon. So the next couple of questions relate to the security of the Walton chain system and, you know, what potential security issues they might have. So to that end, the first question is with the RFID chips being issued from the Walton chain database, what would happen if the issuing database was compromised? The team was pretty direct with their response and saying that Walton Chain is based on a blockchain designed to be decentralized and basically that the chain data is confirmed by more than half of the nodes. The data on the chain simply cannot be tampered with. And this is, again, inherent of what a blockchain is. Having the timeline, the life cycle of a product be immutable data set in stone is a perfect application for the blockchain and again why i think walton is one of the biggest brightest blockchain projects out there is because this is such a golden opportunity and it's a perfect fit for the blockchain so following up on that question we then ask walton chain is based on untested rfid technologies that can be used to replace serial codes slash universal product codes rfid can be easily hacked how do you plan to address this and so we, we kind of already answered this question with the last question, but this relates more to the RFID tags themselves. In the Walton Chain application system, the RFID tags are mainly used to transmit the encrypted transaction information. To date, there is no feasible attack method known to crack or hack the system in any way. And that's because the RFID tags just hold a little bit of information you can't compromise the network, the database, the blockchain, just because you compromise one RFID tag. The RFID tag just holds an encrypted hash. So to the point of an RFID tag being compromised, if the RFID is on the packaging of a box, how will Walton plan to prevent the contents of that box being replaced? With the counterfeit market being so lucrative, people will go to extreme lengths. So Walton is addressing this by developing a fragile anti-transfer label that will prevent the replacement of the label from the genuine case. Essentially, the label and its fragility prevent tampering with the box in any way and especially replacing the contents of the box. The tag, if it undergoes stress, will not be able to be queried again. In this way, they should be able to prevent any counterfeiting as it relates to replacing contents of a shipping container. So next up, we have a question about, you know, if Walton will not only provide the chips, but will they also create a database with all this information that they're going to be collecting? And again, we have to go back to our answer for the very first question in that the Walton team is developing RFID tags and RFID readers that can interact with the Walton chain ecosystem. Remember that there is the parent chain, which carries key information about each of the subchains on the network. Those subchains are the ones that are actually going out and processing the production information or the sales information. And they're the ones keeping an immutable ledger of all that data. So continuing to talk about the RFID tags themselves, as the tags flow through the supply chain or the delivery chain, will the data on them change or will it be static but encrypted? So the key thing to understand is that the tags themselves will store a hash value of the current block and then synchronize online to ensure the specific binding of the label and entity. Quite simply, the RFID tags store a hash value that allows them to interact with the subchain that they're a part of. 
Again, they're not storing the entire blockchain. They're not doing anything more than being sort of little messengers that are pinging the blockchain that they're a part of whenever they interact with a warehouse node or a storage node or a shipping node or anything of that sort. In this way, we are building a living library of information as it relates to the products that they're attached to. And this is related to just how Walton envisions the eventuality of sort of everything being connected, everything having digital presence for physical assets. So guys, that's all the time we have for this video. Hopefully I helped shed some light on some questions about Walton that you might've been asking. But there's still a couple things I want to address, like the value at Internet of Things, Walton's blockchain scalability, what's the wallet used for, what's a masternode, and to address some of the things like that roadmap being pushed back that I mentioned earlier, and what are the implications for that. So definitely look out for that video coming up in the near future, and all the other videos that I'm going to be putting out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I love helping you guys be better crypto investors and be sure to subscribe to see more content like this video. Take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.